Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flaws back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the King Cool Sports HD DV Waterproof Action Camera Now fellas, this is a good deal right here First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from Go to Amazon.com I'll throw the link up in the description Alright, so we got the King Cool Waterproof Wi-Fi version, 2-inch LCD display, 170 degrees wide angle with the 12 megapixel camera, waterproof sports action camera. Now, here's the good deal. Check out the price. $68.99. So you're looking at 70 bucks. Comes in a bunch of colors. You got black, blue, gold, pink, white, silver, and yellow. Pause this and read it for yourself if you want, but let's go through some of the features real quick. Now it supports Wi-Fi, compatible with Android and iOS devices. Free your hands with the various accessories which can be placed firmly in devices and on our body parts such as bicycle handle, helmet, etc. Now this is a waterproof cover, works up, uh, works up to 30 meters underwater. Lightweight and compact, water resistance and super wide angle lens, uh, excellent portability and operability. Perfect for outdoor activities, travel, the extreme sports, underwater exploration, family gatherings, and of course my favorite, car racing <laughs> and going to car shows. Now real quick, 70 bucks for this. Now I do got a GoPro Hero and a Hero, uh, Hero 3 and a Hero 4, but let me show you why this is a good deal. If you go on Amazon right now and you want the Hero 3, that's going to run you 370 bucks. Alright, and if you want the Hero 4, that one's going to run you $500. All right, so you're getting basically a 1080p sports action camera that's pretty much the same as a GoPro, but for 70 bucks. All right, so let's check it out. Simple presentation, 70 bucks. You know, you're not expecting, you know, that fancy glass box like the GoPro, but, you know, 70 bucks. Got a big list of all the specs on the back. Now, one thing that they forgot to mention on the website, which I think is really important, is this camera features a motion sensor. All right, and I'll show you, I'll show you how that works in a second. Kind of sick. All right, so all the specs. Here's a picture of all of the different uh, accessories that you get with it. We'll go through, uh, through those in a minute. All right, so let's pop this open and see what it looks like. All right, so inside, get your usual books and shit. Now, let me show you something real quick in the book because I happen to be browsing through this earlier. Matter of fact, while we're here, we can use the picture and just look at the picture for the uh, exact specifications. So you got your OK switch. All right, that's the record that's on the top just like on the GoPro you got your power button which is also your switch mode indicator that's how you're going to switch from recording and video playback because you got to keep in mind that now this is different from the GoPro this actually has an LCD screen okay so you got your HDMI you got this is your lens on the front here's your USB that's where you're going to put your micro USB card in uh, you got a, and you got a mic now, if you look close, you see you do have a screen right here, LCD screen. Now, the buttons on the side also double uh, double S up and down. Okay, you got a battery cover, removable 900 milliamp battery. Okay, now here's all the accessories you get. Waterproof case, clip, bicycle stand. You get a selfie stick, uh, selfie stick, uh, <laughs> say that fast, selfie stick adapter. You get a selfie stick adapter. All right, now let me show you the picture on how you can rock this. Look close. You can drop it on your bike just like that. You can wear it on your belt, that's kind of sick, or you can mount it like I'm going to mount it in the car. Now here's what I was saying about the motion detector. Look at it right there. Alright, so you just go to settings, turn on motion detector, and you just leave the camera. And fellas, you already know, you're going to have a lot of fun with a $70 motion detector that you can also use as an action camera. Alright, so that's pretty much it with the book. Let's go through all of the various accessories and take a look at the actual camera. Okay, you get some zip ties. These always come in handy. Okay, here's some AV cables. This is going to be your selfie stick mount. Now, that's kind of hot. Fellas, you know, if you're using a selfie stick, not to take selfies, of course. Yeah, I know we don't do that. <laughs> but if you're using a selfie stick to record video, I go to the car shows, I take a selfie stick, put my camera on it, and I walk around. You got to be careful with that because you know selfie sticks don't have the best grip for your phone. So now you go out and you buy an $800 Galaxy Note, or are you prepared to be walking around with a selfie, you know, with it on a selfie stick and bump into somebody or try to, you know, move it around too fast and your phone flops out, you're going to be hurting. So this is important right here. This is probably one of the best features, selfie stick mount. You get some adjustable straps. 
Now with these, you could pretty much, they're not basically for one purpose. You could pretty much figure these out, strap them up, you know, find different ways to, um, to use these. Pretty much go crazy with it. Here's your power plug. Let's see, should be a USB cable around here somewhere. Maybe I missed it. Okay, here we go. USB cable, bunch of accessories on this. All right, so power plug and USB cable. Follow those straps to the side. This is the most important one so far, selfie stick mount. You got your micro USB cleaning cloth. That's always good. You got some 3M double-sided tape. Now, personally, I don't like to use this kind of stuff because, you know, you leave it out in the sun too long, it get, it, it'll, it'll get loose. And that's the last thing you wanted your camera flopping off somewhere. But you do have a bunch of different mounts. Here's a little helmet mount. The bicycle, the bicycle mount. I'll probably use this too. I don't really ride too much in the summer, but once the weather breaks and it gets a little bit cooler, pull out the Trek, start riding the bike again. Nice little universal bi uh, bicycle mount. Now, this is what you got to look at too. Bunch of these adapters. So now I know what you're saying. Why so many <laughs> adapters? Well, let me show you something real quick with my GoPro. So if you got your GoPro, you see how you need all these different adapters if you want to change because these don't rotate. So if you got your camera mounted like this and you want to record sideways, you're going to have to change the whole mount. This way, if you got your mount set up one direction, you see how I got these uh, <laughs> facing two different ways. Not to mention, it'll give you some length on your camera. You don't want the camera this low. You might want to have it a little bit higher. So these are just all accessories to give you more options on how you want to record stuff. All right, so no need to go through all of these. But one thing I did want to check is if you got a GoPro camera, can you use the same accessory? All right, so we'll check that in a second. All right, so let's push all this stuff out the way. All right, my bad. Now, you know I hate editing videos, but I had to take a quick phone call. So let's get right back in. Now, we basically went through all of the accessories, except for this. Now, you got a replacement cover for your waterproof housing which is identical to the one that's already on here. Now, my only concern with this, if you buy your GoPro 3 or your GoPro 4, on your replacement back door cover, it has holes cut out in it. So this way, if you don't plan on recording underwater, you're gonna get better sound. So we'll see, we'll put it to the test and see how it sounds. If not, on your replacement door, you're just gonna have to drill some holes in it and uh, let some better sound in. All right, so now let's take a look at the actual camera. Here's your little release button right here. Let's open this up. Okay, now let's check the size on this camera. Matter of fact, before we do that, let's take a look at the actual camera. Super small, super duper small. Got a little, little film right here. Here's your up and down buttons. That's your power button. And that's your OK button to record. On this side, here's your mini uh, <laughs> HDMI, micro USB charging port. And this is where you're gonna put your SD card in, micro SD card. And that's your camera in the front. Real simple design. Now let's compare it to the GoPro size and see which one is bigger. Now I got my Hero 3 right here. Let's see if they're the same size or a little bit bigger or smaller. Okay, so the Sports HD looks like it's a little bit wider. Yeah, if you look closely, it's a little bit wider. But it's almost the same size. Now here's what's important. If you got a GoPro Hero 3 or 4 or whatever one you got, can you use your old accessories along with these? Let's find out. All right, so now here's my GoPro housing. Let's see if we can put the uh, sports cam right in here. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit thicker, but let's see if we can force it in there. All right, it's in there. Fellas, that's kind of hot. Now, it automatically pressed the button so it might be a little bit too tight. We'll play with it, but you might be able to use the old accessories. We'll see. Now, let's get it out of here. If you notice, I just turned it on. So here's your, L, uh, your LCD screen. Let's hit the button on the front. Now, if, let's switch modes. Now, if I had um, my micro SD card in here, we'd be able to play, the, play back the video right here from the camera. Shows you your battery life. Okay, I'm going to have to charge this up. No touchscreen on this. Okay? Pretty much self-explanatory. Shoots in 1080p. Okay, just turned it off. All right, now, why would you buy this? 
All right, let's get let's let let's, let's get to the dirt. Why would you buy this? Well, let me give you a few reasons why I think this is a good deal right here. First up, the price. 70 bucks for this. All right, you you can't really argue with that price. $70 compared to 350 and 500. Okay, so $70 for a 1080p camera. Secondly, this will be perfect for the kids. Now, a lot of times the kids, they got the selfie sticks, they want to go outside and they want to make videos and they want to, you know, attach the camera to their bike and they want to have fun. You don't want to give them your Hero 3 or your Hero 4. Next minute they, you know, break it or something or somebody, you know, steals it or loses it. You're going to be hurt. For $70, you're going to be less hurt. <laughs> you still might be hurt, but you're going to be less hurt taking the $70 L as opposed to taking a $500 or $360 L. And when I say L, that means loss. Next, motion detector. Now, that's a hot little feature right there. All right, motion detector. Fellas, you want to know if your girl is looking through your phone in the middle of the night. All you do is take your trap phone, go to the bathroom. You set this motion camera up, put the phone somewhere, and you send yourself a text message and just wait for the fireworks. <laughs> Now, you know, I'm just trolling. You can use it for so many other reasons with motion detector, but that's just a nice feature to have. 70 bucks for a motion detector camera. Next, the size. This is super small and compact. Like I said earlier, if you attach this to your selfie stick, you're going to have much more freedom as opposed to having a big giant Galaxy Note on the top of your selfie stick. You have this. Nice little small size. Next, perfect for a backup. All right, if you got a Hero 3 or 4 and you want a backup camera, this is going to be perfect. Now, what I'm going to use this for is when I go to the car cruises or I, I go to the races, now I can have more than one camera rolling at the same time. Now, I usually got the Hero 3 facing the front and the Hero 4 facing the back. Now, I have the Hero 3 in the front, Hero 4 in the back, and maybe I have this one inside recording the driver view. All right, so just more options. Now, instead, now when I bought the Hero 3 and 4 to have two different camera angles, I had to spend almost $1,000. 500 for the Hero 4 and 360 plus tax plus all accessories almost about a thousand dollars So now if you buy one Hero and you want a backup for a second view now you're only gonna have to spend 70 bucks And lastly this one has an L uh, LCD screen now the Hero 3 and 4 don't have that now Of course they have the option that you could connect it to your Android or iOS device and use your phone as a viewfinder But um, this is just standalone no phone necessary so now you can see exactly what you're recording right from um, on your selfie stick or right from your hand. Whatever you got it at, you can just look directly into the LCD screen and see what you're recording. So that's a hot little feature right there. Now, the most important thing is, how does it look? All right, that's the most important thing to this video is how's the picture quality on this when you record. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video. I'm actually on my way to the gym. So I'm going to let this charge for a few minutes. I'm going to uh, mount it to the front of my car and I'll do a test video driving to the gym. Now, just for comparison, when I leave the gym, I use the Hero, and I record on the way home from the gym, and I'll, I'll upload both of them, and you can see the difference in the picture quality for yourself. Now, I'm expecting the Hero to be a little bit better, but you never know. You never know. Only one way to find out, put it to the test. All right, so let's do that. Now, also, when I'm testing this, I'm using the stock battery cover door, which both of these look identical. Let me see. Oh, matter of fact, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, here it goes. Now you notice, see, live videos. <laughs> you notice, now the mic is on the side of this camera. All right, the mic is on the side. If you notice on your replacement battery door, this one does have a cutout on the side. I didn't even notice it. You do have a cutout on the side. So we're gonna switch the battery door, since I don't plan on recording underwater, and we're gonna put this one on, it's going to give um, better access to the mic and we'll get more sound. Now, I'm not going underwater anytime soon, so I'm not going to be able to test it underwater. But, it's you know, these cases, it's pretty much the same as the GoPro. And with that hard seal, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it's going to be waterproof. All right, so maybe I'll just maybe I'll just stick it in the tub and record, <laughs> record a little bit underwater in the tub. We'll see. But right now, I'm going to do the real test. I'm just going to do some driving around. Now, I'm not going to be racing nothing, fellas, so don't get excited. I'm just going to cruise over to the gym, and I'm going to cruise back from the gym. So remember, on the way to the gym is going to be the new camera. On the way home from the gym is going to be the Hero 3. All right, so we'll put it to the test. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in a minute. One more thing, fellas. Now, when you want to change the back cover on your waterproof housing, it's real simple. You just pop it out. Grab the replacement one with the little cutout right here and pop this one on. Just that simple. 
Alright, now stand by for the footage. <laughs>